is uh, an Indian, and he is now lodged in Bernalillo County, New Mexico, um, facility, jail, county jail. So he told me about three cases that are very important. Um, it is, uh, it's the driver's license passenger's case. It's DR-13-2476. It's Ogala. I can't hardly read my own writing. I, I usually look it up on the internet. So I'll, I'll post those links in a link in the description of the, this video of these cases. So that is, uh, let's see. Yeah. That is the case that's in New Mexico. There's another case in New Mexico where it has its birthday is 7 11 of 1973. And it is P 4 T. Dot, Excuse me, P dash four dash T R dash two thousand twelve dash zero one one nine zero four. Now, the other case, the one that it's going on now, I believe, is State of New Mexico versus Ni Ne. Now, interesting enough, is his name is N I I N E E. I am almost certain. Now, I'm going to go back and check, but, uh, they have him listed as N-E-E-N-I-I -I in the records there. This birth date is listed as 4-4-1974. And this case should have been dismissed. But anyway, it's T-4-DB-2012-001566. And again, I'll list those links in the description. And I'll get this out, though, right away. So let's uh, see who else. Donald Smoke is on Facebook and uh, knows about what's going on with Nene and his case. He was, and Nene talks about it here, but he was up in, in uh, New York and there was a governor's warrant put out on him after, <coughs> excuse me, he was wrongfully arrested. So he was serving papers on the tribal leadership that wasn't acting in the best interest of uh, Mother Earth. So, anyway, he was held without bond due to governor's warrant from New York and, ta or, and New Mexico and taken to, maybe just New Mexico, but the governor still held him there. Um, and then he was taken to New Mexico and has been there ever since. He's not getting mail. I've called the DOJ three times now. I have tape recordings of where I called the one time, so, and left messages with the, uh, Liaison, I'll put a link on that in there for her as well. And then um, the lady sent me a book, and she's just, it's just wonderful, Lust for Justice, The Radical Life and Law of J. Tony Sarah, Paulette Frankel, foreword by Jerry Spence. And she, for Carol K., my last name, married name, from Paulette Frankel and Nene. And I tell you, and she spelled it N-I-I-N-E-E, -E, she should know. So this is the book that Nene, this is the book that Nene studied, and the illustrations that she did are just awesome. Um, it's just wonderful. I thank you so much, and I'll uh, put the title of the book and things like that in the uh, links as well. And he is uh, not getting his mail properly, it appears, and they, they had him sign a contraband list. So he talks about what's going on in here. You will have to probably put your earplugs in, but you can hear him. I can hear him without the earplugs, but you may have to put your earplugs in to listen. And I will update, oh, Edward Johnston. He's on Facebook, and he's working on the case for Nene. And I will include, include some of his writings and his uh, contact information as well. And Judson uh, with him as well. And I think... Let's make sure that I've got everything. Um, you can you can mail him, and I'll include the link for uh, how he receives mail and his um, what they call the uh, ID number, the PID number, and the mailing address. And then I'll include the links in too if anybody wants to converse with him or or do the electronic thing or any of that kind of stuff. Uh, uh, include those links as well. And uh, he's still there, and he's looking for. Anyone that's knowledgeable in constitutional law or a constitutional type 
practice. Um, I don't know. I, I don't even know to say that, but but uh, somebody that could help uh, him in his plight because he has gained the recognition as a sovereign, only to have it taken away at this point over a technicality. And uh, something that they really cannot take away sovereignty over some kind of a code. So I will uh, have a, his tape will be after this, and then I'll have the information in the description. Thank you, folks. Hey. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh huh. I still got you. They probably won't bring him until they got an anchor date for you. And, um, I've, uh, I've told him that it was going to be for, uh, that I wasn't giving up no jurisdiction. And, uh, so I'm interested to see myself what they're, what they're, what they're going to put in this offer. But, like I'm saying, I'm saying, bring it on up. Hey, you know, they're going to turn on the game. Okay, February 13th and March 7th.
you know, it is that they don't, they can't put a bond on me, you know, they legally cannot make any type of a judgment against me. So, so that's where, where uh, they're stuck right now. I tried to give them a way out by just uh, holding the case. It, it's happened here before in uh, what's called the Sandoval County. I've had them holding uh, the case on, on all that they had brought up, they had uh, their abandoned ship here in uh, Sandoval County, and it's George Nightfall, and that's out of the 13th uh, Judicial District Court here in New Mexico. And that's just like about 10 minutes away, 15 minutes away from where I'm at right now. And I submitted these, these precedent cases into their, into their court. And I've also uh, had one Judge Edward Benavides come off the bench and uh, uh, apologize, and I've also had him, uh, the same Judge Benavides, dismiss a case for lack of jurisdiction and has and has sanctioned the state of New Mexico for failure to produce the discovery. And then one other judge, a woman judge, who tried to uh, I didn't think what's her name, that had dismissed. My case here, also here in the same county where I'm at here in Bernalillo County, New Mexico. And I was just in New Mexico that day. It was dismissed for that one. The prosecutor just didn't show up at all. And they dismissed that one for, uh, I had entered a, a, a motion to dismiss for that jurisdiction. Okay. Carol, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Oh, okay. Yeah, I got you right. Okay.
Very good. Because they broke the... So they uh, basically copied the, his, their constitution, the Indian constitution, and then they didn't honor it. So that makes it go back to the Tuamwapam Treaty. And he may call back. I will report more, but this is very important. So thank you, folks.